Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back from another year at Anime NYC. So yeah guys, it was a fun time to be had this weekend and it was nice seeing that even though this is the convention's only its third year, that already it's really starting to grow. So it was a huge difference with the amount of people compared to uh, this weekend as it was the first year I went. So that was really nice to see. And so I just figured I'd show you all just a few items um, I purchased this year at the convention, kind of my sl small haul not even quite a haul um i actually didn't buy too much um not very much at all however that wasn't from lack of trying actually because the convention was kind of growing so much um i found that a lot of things that were very popular sold out very quickly and i mean very quickly especially if it was like demon slayer related because everything nezuko was going pretty fast um in some cases some things was gone in like the first 30 minutes of the first day that kind of fast um so there was a lot of things i kind of wanted to get but kind of missed out on which was kind of sad but i think i got enough for the little bit that i did get so yeah i just kind of wanted to show you all what those items were so yeah guys let's get into it first things first though so here is the booklet from Anime NYC this year. As you can see, it's still pretty small, pretty short. Um, and I wish they had way more panels than what they have. But like I said, the convention is still growing. So I'm sure there'll be more of those down the line. However, really cute booklet. I do love the artwork on the front cover. As you can see, it features characters from the mobile game Fate Grand Order, which was having the final stop for its USA tour for the year. So that was pretty cool. I do love how they collaborated to do the artwork for that. Also right here you can see here was the badge that I had. It was a three day and um, it features artwork from Dr. Stone. Now I'm not really familiar with that anime or the manga. I only seen like bits and pieces so not really much to say about it but I think the art looks pretty cool for the badge. So yeah, first item up, and it's just this cute little pin. It says Pin Bazaar Anime NYC. And Anime NYC was kind of doing like this pin trade thing going on, and it was a bunch of cute pin designs that I wanted, but I only managed to grab this one, which I didn't mind because this was my favorite of the designs anyway, which I thought was pretty cool. As you can see, it's kind of like a takeout container featuring a bunch of dice. Like you see the 20-sided die up here and a few other dice all throughout. So I thought this was pretty cool. I thought this kind of represented me in some kind of way. I don't know, I do like takeout food, I do. Um, and I love gaming and all those kind of things. So yeah, I thought this was a pretty cool pin. Just really love the colors on it. Just kind of wish I can show you guys without so much glare on it, but it is really cool. I picked this one up at the Foam Brain uh, Games table, I believe that they had it at. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay guys, and speaking of dice, I was at another dice table, I believe there were, it was called Dice Bard or something like that, and decided to try my luck on a set of these. Now, normally say never get the mystery bag, well I decided to take a gamble and get the mystery bag. So, I ended up getting this set of dice, and um, these are one of those dice rolling trays that it came with, which it wasn't bad, um, I actually do like these, so pretty glad I mean it wasn't the, my favorite of what they had on the table but for what I got I do think these are pretty stunning when I really look at them you can kind of see like little leaves in the resin so those are pretty cool I know this isn't anime related but since I got it from there I just thought these was pretty cool so there it is but yeah like I said normally they say never trust the mystery bags and I know um but I decided to just take my chance and this is what I got Okay, and following that, just wanted to show a few of the freebies I got from the Bampresto booth, which was like, first, this Kirby button, which I thought was just really adorable. I love Kirby. He's just so cute. Um, as well as Bampresto has, was kind of pushing their, um, like, premium box uh, subscription, I guess you want to call it, called Bampresto Box, and they show one featuring um, My Hero Academia, so I might want to try that. Um, another featuring Kirby, but... Either of these isn't due out, I believe, until January, but pretty cool. But I showed this to show that one of the things they gave away was an actual box. Yeah, that's real weird, right? So without the context of me explaining Ben Presto box, you would wonder why would I just have this plain cardboard box that I would have to fold up myself. But I thought that was pretty cute. So yeah, I'll definitely, I don't know, maybe I can store the dice that I just got in this cute little brand presto box so yeah thought that was really cute they had you take pictures in a box and uh yeah you got one of these so 
<laughs> also that. at the Van Presto booth, um, they had these kind of raffles going on using kind of the, you know, the Garapone machines, I believe they're called. Uh, you've seen the anime with the little wooden box and the little balls roll down. So yeah, I did that and managed to win this little My Hero Academia Bakugo figure. So pretty cute, but Bakugo is not my favorite character. I was so hoping for Deku or Todoroki. You know I love Todoroki, but pretty cute to have something from My Hero Academia anyway. So pretty cool, and I love trying it out on the machine. That was like my first time using that little thing. So yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, following that, I headed over to the Bandai booth, filled out a couple of surveys, and picked up a couple of free stickers. Now this one's from Idolish 7, featuring for like all the subunits and things. And I've never seen this series, even though I kind of heard of it. So, but I just thought these stickers were so cute, so there those are. As well as the sticker for Ensemble Star, which I haven't seen this sticker, I mean this series either, but I do like the look of that as well. So that's pretty cute. But I did purchase from Bandai, uh, one, this, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. This is supposed to be uh, a plastic glass. So, yeah, it's much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Even looking at it from the case, I thought it was going to be slightly bigger. But I just wanted a cute little cup. It's pretty plain, if I can get this open. But yeah, here it is. So you can see, pretty plain. It just has the little eyes, kind of like the slime. Now, I have yet to watch this series, so I don't know if it's any good or not. But just thought the little cup was pretty adorable. And I can always find some use for it because, hey, it's a glass and we all drink from them, right? So yeah, and I like that it's plastic because I can get pretty klutzy at times. So <laughs> yeah, so saves it from being broken. And so I was like, yeah, let me grab that pretty cute i love this little design right here so adorable i really gotta check this series out. okay and with that also i got this that time i got reincarnated by slime uh a blind bag acrylic keychain so i'll open it up for you guys um just to see what's in it even though like i said i haven't watched the series yet so i wouldn't know who i got either way but let's just see who it is <gasps> and this is someone i don't know so yeah i'll definitely have to check the series out to see who this character is and why she's so underdressed i don't know but that seems to be standard in anime so yeah is this a good character guys i don't know let me know in the comments below is this a good keychain or not i don't know but now i really just have to check out the series just to find out all of what is going on so there is that Okay, and the other item I got from the Bandai booth, I kind of had to move the camera back a bit to kind of show what this is, but it's this t-shirt that says, haha, that's right, Guilty Kiss from Love Live Sunshine. Here is the back. And yes, awesome t-shirt. Now, why I got this one, besides it being an awesome t-shirt and me loving Love Live as you all know, but I first planned to get this on Friday because, you know, Anime NYC was having the Lance's Matsuri concert featuring, who else, but Guilty Kiss, along with um, the singer Zack, the singer True, and the group uh, Jam Project. But of course, I went for Guilty Kiss. So yes, I saw this t-shirt and was like, I have to have it. However, I did not grab it on Friday, so I was unable to wear it for the show. But I did manage to grab it last minute on Saturday when I went. And I was glad that I did because I would have regret if I hadn't gotten it. But most of it was sold out. So the fact that I managed to pick this one up at all was pretty amazing. And as I said, this t-shirt is adorable. I just wish I could have got to watch it we're at the concert um but yeah overall pretty cool shirt love how soft it is and yeah like i said pretty cute even the front it's just like yeah guilty kiss you know features yohane who's my favorite and rico she's one of my favorites as well and mari i love everyone in love Live sunshine i love all the aqua uh but um guilty kiss is my favorite of the subunit so yeah pretty cool t-shirt i love this okay and speaking of lance's matsuri just want to show this cute little uh drawstring bag that i got for getting the ticket at anime nyc so pretty cool little bag at least to have some reminder of the awesome concert so yeah i do like that i kind of damaged it a bit just the way i had it folded um the whole time um but overall cool bag like i said cool show hope they come back next year because that was really a fun time so there it is lance's matsuri 
Okay guys, and following that, I went over to the Sai Games booth, which I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with them, but I believe they produce such games like Grand Blue Fantasy and Shadowverse. Well, I went there and saw this Shadowverse Pin Badge Collection. Now, I'm not the biggest player of this game. I do play it sometimes, so I'm only somewhat familiar with it, but I do enjoy it when I do play it. Um, and I saw that they had these cool pin badge uh, collections over there and so I just decided to grab one now they had the sets based on um, I believe like different class types that you would play in the game and even though this set is not from a class I would typically pe play um, none of the pins that they had were of cards that I was really familiar with so I kind of didn't have any like um, set ones that I decided I had to just have uh, so I just kind of went by which one I liked the most and it was this one which I believe this is based off the portal craft maybe I'm not quite sure I'll try to correct that but just thought these pins were the coolest hope you guys can see it because these are really cool but it just seems a little bit dark the way they're sitting in the box this is the character I really can't remember her name right now like I said I really rarely ever play her um but I just thought these were so cool as you can see they're shaped like uh, how the cards would be in the game exactly how you would see them in game the back for the pen so I just thought that was so cool when I saw them like I said I can't tell you who anyone is from here because none of them were any of the ones I have in the collection when I play so I don't recognize any of them um, but um, compared to the other sets that was there this one I thought I liked the most so this is why I grabbed it mainly because I saw all the witches hats and I love that uh, yeah like that's like my favorite thing so I was like well I'll grab this set and overall I just thought that was pretty cool so that is really cool pin collection. Really like that one. And with that, um, in the bag, Side Games doing a couple of freebies, which is like this lanyard with this. I believe this is one of those smartphone holder, like maybe to keep it waterproof or something. I guess. I believe that's what this is. I could be wrong, but I believe this is to hold one of those smartphones. You can see the plastic and the clip up here will keep it like airtight, closed up there. So. That was pretty cool, and it just has a picture from Grand Blue Fantasy. Like I said, I've seen, heard of this, but I've never played that, so I can't really tell you much about that. But just thought that was a really cool freebie to just throw into the bag. Um, and also with that, they also threw in this cool keychain. Again, it's a character. I don't know who it is, but I just thought it was pretty cute anyway. So, yeah, isn't that? How cute is that? So, yeah, really glad that they threw that in there as well. Thank you, Side Games. Okay, and from there, of course, I wandered over to Viz Media, where I did pick up a few things. And, of course, they always give you a tote bag. And so, yeah, I got the Sailor Moon one. Now, I can't remember if I already have this one. I don't know. It's always Viz Media, right? So, but, yeah, really cool tote. Yeah, I guess. But, yeah, so with this, of course, there was a couple of little freebies, like this dress ball for this The Incurable Case of Love series coming out. Don't know about that, but got a cute little stress ball um as well as this few cute little uh tattoo sleeve this fake one from um, promoting dr stone so i saw a lot of people wearing this one i just forgot to take mine out the thing and like this car promoting the promised neverland which i finally just watched the first season of this which i absolutely love guys it's very serious um different from what i expected it to be so yeah really good series it kind of slow at parts but really liked it really can't wait for the next season to come for the anime i might even just kind of jump in and maybe read for the manga as well so i saw this card and i was like yeah really cool card that they included with just like a little magnet on there really love this series now um really love this artwork as well so, so happy just to get this cute little free card. He's like, yes, a card, but yeah, it's Promise Neverland. So cute and cute little fill down there. So, there it is. But yes, getting off the subject of Promise Neverland, the item that I did buy from Viz, hence why I got the tote, is this bundle containing Demon Slayer issue one and two. So, yeah, like I said, this series is really popular this year. I did actually watch all of the first season, which is surprising for me. Um, just because usually it takes me a while to kind of watch a series, but I binged this one. It is pretty good, so I did like it. Um, so I was like, yeah, let me grab this bundle. Really good price that they gave for it, for the artwork. I won't really flip through all of it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone if you didn't see the series. 
But uh, yeah, pretty cool art. I do love the art that they have on the covers. Nezuko. Uh, so many Nezukos at the convention. It was crazy. Um, and with the bundle came with this tiny little pin right here of the main guy, the brother. And I really can't remember his name. I don't know why I'm blanking on it right at this moment. Um, is it Tanjiro? Yeah. Um, here it is with this tiny little pin of him. Like so tiny. Look how it is compared to my thumbnail. That's how small this little thing is. But it's still pretty cute. So cute little bundle overall and like I said for a really good series really like that so there's Demon Slayer okay and winding down I have first is this cute um fake grand order USA tour magnet that they handed out for those who had the game downloaded which is pretty cool I love how it commemorates the date November 15th to 17th of anime NYC so a pretty cool magnet do love the artwork love the Statue of Liberty in the back you have uh saber and foe right there as well just wish it had mash up there with her but um yeah cute little free magnet they gave us and as they said we're the only ones who have it here so there it is um as well as for fake grand order they also passed out these um players guides now i didn't pay attention to when they first handed it so only just now did i actually see what's all in it and i have to say this book is amazing really cool love all the like the little bios they have in here yeah a really cool book they handed out did not pay attention to that at all when i first grabbed it but yeah really cool Okay, and mentioning Fate Grand Order, which is Fate is under Anaplex, that led me to the Anaplex store to purchase a few items. First of which is this. Ta-da! It's Tanjiro from Demon Slayer Kometsu no Yaiba, which is somehow also under Anaplex. Wish I can get this out of the way so you can fully see him, but I can't move it. But just adorable. You can see they have him in like a cat form or some kind of way with the ears and the tail in the back. I just thought this keychain was so adorable. How cute is that? That's really, really cute. Um, so I grabbed that. But I also grabbed this. Haha, -ha, Nezuko keychain as well. Because, yes, you have to have Nezuko. Actually, I grabbed this one first on Friday. And I'm glad I did. Because by Saturday, when I got Tanjiro, Nezuko was already sold out. Like I said, anything Nezuko related was sold out pretty quickly at the convention. So pretty glad that i managed to get this one and as you can see she's really just adorable so there are those two from anaplex and following on from that the next thing i got was these other pinstrap keychain which features mash from fate grand order hence me mentioning fate grand order a little while ago so yep mash one of my favorite characters from the mobile game really cute i love like her little stoic expression because she's in her purple hair just really cute for that as well as for this character, um, I believe her name is Nido Chris or Nido Chris or however that goes. Now, I don't know much about this character. I just know I laugh every time I see her animations in the game. So when I saw this, um, I decided to grab this keychain as well. So yeah, I love her hair and then the little ghosting. I don't know what this is, but it has feet. I don't know. And it runs around in her animations. So I was like, yeah, let me see what this thing is. So yeah, that's the two that I decided to grab. Okay guys, and we're winding down to the last few items. And those, there's a few of them, they kind of all go together. So I mentioned Fate Grand Order, the mobile game. But while I was there, one of the other things they were doing for Fate Grand Order was having us demo the uh, tabletop game, which I did. And I found out that I had quite a bit of fun doing that. Um, but for demoing the game, they gave everyone um, like a Scusa free card for the game, um, which I just thought was just so pretty. So I just kind of wanted to show it to you. So there's this Lance. I don't know the character's name. Um, and then I ended up going back another day and demoing it again because I brought my cousin along. And therefore I got this other card as well for the first Hassan. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, game turned out to be a lot more fun uh, than I expected it to be. And I finally understood about the mini figures that kind of go with it and so I decided to purchase a couple of those and here they are these are my last items so here they are um so here's fate grand order dual mini figures um all from different series uh this is series three series four and series seven so yeah here it is now I don't know if you guys recall but I actually got one of these figures uh last anime NYC 
uh, that I opened. But at the time, I had no idea where they were from. I just thought it was like a simple blind box. Had no idea it was part of the game or anything of what it had to deal with. So didn't quite understand that. Kind of tossed that figure to the side. But now I have a few more that I can kind of play around with. So here is that. I'm more excited about mm. these than anything But yeah, else. so let me just open this real quick to see. So as I said, here is this box, which is Series 3. And this shows the front of the possible of the five characters that can be in this box. So here's this side here, this back, and you can see the characters here. Now I'm not quite sure, like I said, I only recently got into the game, so I'm not sure what all the characters name. I can only recognize a few. This is Saber Altar, I believe, or Arjun. Um, this is, I want to say, Stenos is her name, I believe. Uh, Ryder, of course, if you guys can see um, her name uh in this saber i'm not sure what character name that would be so let's see who is in this box any guesses guys any guesses and we have of course the one character i have no idea what their name is here is the figure guys pretty cool do love all the detail on it let me see what else is in the box for it see it comes with the base and the weapon for the character. So, there's that. Um, yeah. And I don't know what these plastic pieces are. I guess it's to fill up the box or so. Because it just basically tells you that this is junk. Throw it out. <laughs> so, yeah. See, this is not part of the product. Yeah, it tells you to actually throw it out. So, I'm guessing it's just to kind of fill up the box. So it doesn't move around as much or so. I don't know. And here is the cards you use with the figure in the game. So, yeah pretty cool just wish i knew who this character was and why he looks so mean yeah there it is so let's go to the next box and we have here again series four featuring these characters here which i really hope to get nido chris or whatever her name is um but not a bad selection this 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 so here's the five again i'm really hoping to get the caster which is nido chris um this saber, hmm, uh, she's okay, but I really prefer this one. Um, and these three, I'm not sure what any of their names are, but we'll see, so see who we get. So let's open this one up. And we have any more guesses? Any more guesses? And we have somebody else I don't know the name of, really. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy more of these figures, guys, because, yeah. Who is this? He looks mean as well. <laughs> Look at all the figures in the back. It's a really cool figure, though. Really cool design. And barefoot. Uh, but not sure who this is. So, there he is. Uh, here's his weapon and his base. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah, the cards. So like I said, really cool card, but just have no idea who this character is. And he's a low two star. Okay, and finally we have series seven. So yeah, here are the five. I do vaguely recognize these characters, so hopefully you get someone that I recognize. Um, uh, just how they show them is really hard to see. Again, this is well, I always just call her Saber, even though this is the writer. Uh, this is, um, I can't remember her name, but at least I've seen her before. Uh, I believe this is Young Gilgamesh. I may be wrong. I uh, can't remember what this one's name is, but at least I'm familiar with the character and this one. So, huh, let's see. Who shall it be? We had all grumpy face guys in the other box. Let's see if we get someone else. And we have, they're pretty small, whoever it is, so I'm guessing already. Huh? Ah, it's her, and yeah, who I always want to call Saber, but it's not Saber. I can't think of her name right now, so I don't want to say it. But she's pretty tiny, and she's in a maid costume. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, very tight compared to like this one. This one is so much heavier than this one. This one is just feels like air, very light, and this one's more weighty. But I mean, I guess it makes sense for the character design, but. Yeah, pretty cool figure, guys. 
pretty quick. Here is her card. So there it is. And here's her base and her broom or mop or whatever that is. So yeah, that's it guys. So that's it for my haul for Anime NYC. Um, like I said, it wasn't very much at all. No Nendoroids, of course. Just that the ones that Good Small Company brought were ones either I had you know or ones that just really just didn't want so yeah that's been the kind of the problem the issue with the like the last few conventions it's usually stuff i already have if i actually kind of wanted it so that's why it's been no nendoroids and i was kind of sad for that because i wanted to bring one kind of home to show you guys but um this is all i managed to get this year so that's it for now. Let me know what you guys think of the haul down below in the comments. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Who are these characters? If anyone could tell me because I have no idea. Um, and if you ever play FGO Duel. Um, and yeah. How else do you find more characters for these? So yeah guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.